Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to my channel and I know that it's been like over two weeks since I've actually uploaded a video. I know that I said this last time that there's been actually a lot going on in my life um, that I really don't want to discuss, just a lot of things and a lot of drama and all of that type of thing. So basically, um, I'm going to apologize, so I am sorry and I'm going to be back on schedule, I promise, um, with my uploading with videos and everything. So um, to say sorry to you and to show my appreciation for all of these subscribers, I have like over 7,000 even though I'm not uploading much, I'm still getting tons of subscribers and I really appreciate it. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. As you can see in the title, it's going to be for um, a Sigma brush travel kit and I'm going to go ahead and get into like this mini review and then I will go ahead and give you guys the rules and everything. Um, I did get this for free, um, just a little disclaimer, I'm actually an affiliate with them and like the more points I get, I get free stuff and then I'm eligible to do giveaways. So I got this for me, um, they actually chose to send me this um, really nice travel brush kit um, and then they said I can go ahead and do a giveaway and they will directly ship one to you. So you get like this faux leather um, kind of case, it's really 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 smooth. Um, so I love the case. It's nice and black and sleek. You open it like this, and then it goes down. You turn it this way. There's a little, like, zipper department that you can, like, store some stuff in. You flip open this flap right here. And then here you have all of your brushes. And I want to talk about the size of the brushes first. Um, this is actually kind of like a mini brush which it does still seem like a pretty standard size and they work just as good as the regular Sigma brushes um, or MAC brushes doesn't really matter about the size but it's not like a miniature brush um, it's like a medium sized brush so I guess I will go ahead and get into what type of brushes you get um, this is the Sigma La uh, Large Powder F30 brush as you can see it's F30 um, Honestly, I would probably use this maybe for bronzer, to be completely honest. Um, I'm just used to big old kabuki brushes for my powder, um, but I do use this as a bronzer brush. Um, the hairs on this are really, really smooth. They're nice and dense, and so far so good with shedding. I haven't really noticed any shedding or anything like that, and I use these on a daily basis. Um, so it's nice and sturdy. I don't see any hairs falling, and I really, really like it. Now, this brush is the Large uh, large Angle Contour. This is the Sigma F40 brush, as you can see. And this is like a tapered brush. Um, yes, that's what it says. Uh, no, 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 Large Angled Contour brush. So you can contour your cheekbones and up here, your jawline. You can even kind of, um, instead of using it this way, you can kind of get like the bottom part of the brush like this way, turn it around like that and you could use it as a blush brush. So I think that this is multi-purpose. The hairs on this is really really smooth and I like the fact that it's beige because whatever like contouring stuff you're going to use or bronzer or blush it's going to kind of make it look really pretty until you wash it and then it's going to turn white again. Um, so yeah, there's that one. This one is the Sigma F60 foundation brush as you can see and it's just your standard foundation brush um, I do find that foundation brushes kind of feel kind of stiff um, they poke me in the face sometimes um, they make my foundation really really patchy that's just because I've never used like a good brand I always use like <clears throat> ones from drugstores and stuff and I hated them so I usually just put my foundation on with a stippling brush or recently I've been putting on it with my hands but I have to say that this one is really really smooth as you can see, it's pretty thick as well, and it's actually really dense too, but it's smooth to the touch, so it's not going to hurt your face or anything like that. And the streaking wasn't that bad. I, I did find it that it did streak a little bit, but not as much as like a really, really cheap one. Um, so yeah, I like this one. You can even maybe use this for like touch-up areas like to spot concealer. It's all good. It really depends on, on what you like. Um, this is one of my favorite brushes. This is the um, shader brush, and this is the Sigma E55 brush, or E55. My camera wants to focus for me. There you go, E55. Um, it's just your basically standard shader brush. Um, I would compare it to the Max 239. This is a little bit bigger, um, wider, I'm going to have to say, about the same... Um, 
width, but it's about the same, um, you know what I'm saying? It's about, it's wider than the MAC one. You can use this as um, brow bone um, or lid. I find myself using this for my lid a lot. Um, it's really soft brush as well and nice and dense, and this is really good to pack on color. So I like this brush. And there's three more to go, and then I'll go ahead and get into the rules. This one is the Pencil um, Sigma brush. This is the number E30. That's what it looks like. This one is really, really, really cute. Uh, mine's a little bit dirty, so I do apologize. This is dense as well, soft as well. They all feel the same and um, have the same density, so I really, really like that. You can definitely use this to cut the crease. You can use this for your inner corner, or you can actually, just like you see, I have dark eyeshadow under my bottom lash line. You can kind of do that here. So this is a definitely a multi-purpose brush, and I love this one. And once again, that's the E30. This is the Concealer Sigma F70 brush, as you can see. Um, to be honest, I do feel like it's a little bit small just because my dark circles are all the way around, not here, but they're all the way around as you can see Like if I look down. So I have a lot of area to work with. I like putting on concealer with my fingers, but I definitely do use this for like pimples and blemish areas and foundation here and redness areas, stuff like that. So I really, really like that. Once again, this is smooth and nice and dense. And these are not cheap brushes. I can tell I have a lot of brushes and compared to some like cheap ones that are really, really cheap um, or like drugstore, these are going to last you a long time. And to be honest, um, I would definitely get the travel kit instead of opposed to spending like $100 at Sigma or like 80 or whatever to get the full size. To be honest, I really find no need in that because these are pretty good sizes. They're like almost as big as, like yeah, from my pinky to the bottom of my palm. Like that's a pretty good size. And last but not least, this is the tapered blending brush. Um, this is the Sigma E40. And this is a really popular brush for Sigma. A lot of people use it around YouTube. And it's the E40, and I absolutely love this brush. Um, it's the tapered blending brush. Um, it is tapered, as you can see. It's kind of longer up here and then shorter on the ends. And this brush is dense, and it's really smooth, and it's great for blending out your crease or your outer V. You definitely do not want to place crease or outer V colors with this because it's going to be too big because this is a pretty... Um, fluffy brush, but once you have everything all set and placed, this is definitely very, very good to blend. I feel like I have to do the other eye now. Um, but I really, really love this brush, um, or this is absolutely great for an all-over color, like all-over lid wash with like a light color or something. So I really, really love this. So those are the brushes. Once again, I'll show you how they look in the little case. Um, I'm not sure what the retail value of this is. I do forget. I will go ahead and post all of the information in the underbar um, rules, um, Sigma, Sigma's website, um, my affiliate link, and prices and everything if you want to buy it just in case you don't win because there will only be one winner. So yes, on to the rules, the exciting part. Um, like I just said, one winner, one winner only. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I believe that this is an international contest. And if you are not 18 or over, please have your parents' permission before you enter just because I will need your address. Um, I'm not going to be sending out the products. I will be contacting Sigma, giving your name, your address, and then they will send it to you. So be sure to ask permission. Um, basically, the rules are simple. Just go ahead and leave one comment, one comment only, and tell me what is your favorite brush out of this kit. Um, I will go ahead and post the names of the brushes below and then you tell me which one is your favorite and I will go ahead and use random.org to pick the winner. I'm not sure if I'm going to make like a little slideshow announcing the winner or if I'm going to do it live. Um, so I will see. The contest will end on June 5th, um, which is about a week away from now. So yeah, good luck and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.